Welcome back to Botantino Bicycles. We're building up this Cannondale SM400. As always, I'll show you close up so you can see the excellent condition that it's in. We'll build it up and check out the final result. Let's get building. After last week's matte black M900 frame, today we have a shiny black SM400. And it's pink, neon pink. The Cannondale branding on a down tube looks pretty orange in most shots. And it is in fact a slightly different shade of pink, or maybe just uh, faded differently. Uh, but it's certainly not as orange as it looks in the video. Although this was the entry level Cannondale mountain bike in 91, it's still an aluminum frame that is way ahead of its time. And we've already swapped the silver headset for a black one. I want to use cantilever brakes with a road bike stem, so we need somewhere to hang the cable from. And this cable hanger here can be inserted into the headset, but it's a bit scratched, so I'm going to paint over those areas. So I'm not too sure about this uh, stem setup, like I don't hate it, but it's not perfect. And I think it has to do with like these ratios here. So the top part of the stem is really thick, the part that goes down uh, is very thin and it also uh, sticks out quite a bit. So we have enough room for the cable to be bent underneath here. So I'm thinking maybe this one here is a better option. And I also dug up this other cable hanger, which sits on top of the headset. So just visually, it's going to extend the very short stirrer tube that we have. And I think this is gonna help us as well. And despite this sitting on top of the headset, it actually holds the cable at the same level. So there's no extra height that we need to give the stem. So it should help us visually. 
Another option that we have is this fork mounted hanger, which I would probably go for if it wasn't silver. <laughs> if we had a black one, then this would be my go-to, but yeah. So let's try out option number one. And yeah, I think this is definitely an improvement. It helped in the ways that I was hoping it did. It looks more balanced, a bit more elegant. So yeah, let's uh, move on with this version. I've also decided not to reuse the seat post. It's still in good condition, but it's a little bit scratched and also slightly color faded. So it has a, a blue tint to it. And I think the build is gonna benefit massively from a new black seat post. The frame is in such a great condition. Uh, the paint is so shiny that I think this will complement it much better than if we left that old seat in. But don't worry, it'll make a reappearance in some other build where, uh, yeah, I feel like it's a, gonna be a better match. Don't know when it is gonna be, but that's the beauty of the parts bin, isn't it?
These old Suntour shifters sometimes require different cables. So it's always good to have these double-ended ones. Uh, but this one actually relied on the standard cable type. During the build, I kept coming back to the stem. I kept looking at it and eventually decided I needed to see the whole thing with uh, cables and grips on. So I installed one grip just to take a look at how it would look like with uh, yeah, all the surrounding parts in place and decided that we needed to make another change. And I'm much happier with this, especially from like this front angle here, I just think it looks cleaner. So giving this a bit of a polish, I'm using the same polish that I use on the paint on the frame. Just gently go over it with a towel and it cleans up really nicely. This being a street shredder build, I felt like it could do with some pedal straps. And I've been following Plakete Berlin for a while now. Kata is a really talented artist from Berlin. So I reached out and asked for black pedal straps with uh, neon pink accents. And she was kind enough to send them over for free. So I guess this makes this a sponsored build. Thank you Kata, and they look awesome on the bike. Did require a pedal change, however. Uh, they didn't fit on the silver ones that I had installed before, but black might be the better option anyway. But yeah, uh, give her a follow. I'll link her account down below. And while we're on the subject of cool stuff that other people are making, I'm sure I don't need to tell you about Second Life Bikes. If you're watching this video, you're probably following Craig already. He builds fun bikes and makes these fun stickers that you can order at saveallbikes.com and support his channel. But before you do that, we still have a bike to look at. 